today I'm making some honey garlic chicken. Now this is baked in the oven. It is so easy, you guys. It is delicious. It's got that sweetness. It's got a little soy sauce. It's, it's just a nice combination. And boy, I tell you, that garlic takes it over the top, right? If you like garlic, you're gonna love this. And like I said, it cooks up in about 40 minutes. It's, it's just simple. All right, I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to make it right after my chef joke. What do you call a bee who can't make any honey? A wannabe. To start off our recipe, I'm using organic chicken thighs that are boneless, skinless. I like to use thighs because they are nice and tender and juicy and they don't tend to dry out when you cook them up. Chicken thighs tend to have a little bit more fat on them, so you're going to want to take your knife and trim it off. It, it'll only take you a couple of minutes. I'm cooking up six pieces of chicken here, so I'm using a eight by eight baking dish to, to cook them in, and I'm lining mine with some foil. Now, you can use parchment paper if you don't like to use foil, that would work too. My goal here is to make cleanup as easy as possible. Now, I've dedicated this cutting board with the drip channel there to just be used with meats. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash that up. I don't want any cross-contamination. I know most of you know this, but some of you may not. And then I use the other side of this board for vegetables. Now I'm gonna make a little coating for the chicken for two reasons. One, it's gonna add a little flavor, and secondly, it's going to make the sauce of the chicken thicken up a little bit. I'm using Bob's Red Mill one-to-one -one baking flour because I like to cook gluten-free, and then I'm gonna add a little bit of regular paprika and some smoked paprika. Give that a little mix, and then we'll coat the chicken. I'll lay the thighs in there one at a time, and I like to take a spoon and just spoon it over and just kind of rub it in, and then shake off the excess before you place it into the dish. Now would probably be a great time to preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Now it's time to start working on our sauce, and I'm gonna start with the garlic because we have to prep it. This recipe calls for a lot of garlic, so don't be afraid to use, you know, gosh, 10, 11 cloves. I mean, it, it depends on their size, right? So I'm gonna peel here about 11 cloves and we're gonna mince it up. So this is how I tackle this job. So I'm gonna cut off one end of the garlic and then I'm going to smash it with my knife, just like you would the like button if you're enjoying this video. And then we'll just peel off that outer coating and there you go, it comes out really quick. Once all that paper is removed, then we just start slicing away and you just wanna slice it as thin as you can. Just chop it up until it's nice and fine. Your garlic should end up looking something like this. Now we're gonna place all of our sauce ingredients into a small saucepan. Now I like to make getting honey out of a cup a lot easier, so what I'm doing here is putting some olive oil into the cup, rubbing it around so it coats the bottom, and now I'm gonna add the honey, and when I pour it out, it's gonna come out easily and completely. Now mind you, honey doesn't move too quickly, so you're gonna have to wait a couple of minutes for it to completely drain out of the cup, but I promise you it will all just drain out without any effort on your part. And all that'll be left is a little coating of olive oil. Next, I'm adding some gluten-free soy sauce here, or you can use regular soy sauce if you want. Now we're gonna add some toasted sesame oil, and don't think that this isn't enough because sesame oil is very powerful, so we're only adding a little bit here. To balance out our sweet in this with the honey, now we're gonna use some rice vinegar to add a little acid to balance out the flavor. I'll use a small whisk and we'll mix this up a bit and then we're gonna put it on the stove over low heat. Now to thicken this sauce up just a bit, I'm gonna take a little bit of cornstarch here and add it to an equal amount of cool water. And I'm gonna stir it up, and then once my sauce comes to a boil, we're gonna add this a little bit at a time while we stir it. Now I'll continue to stir this and cook it for about two, to, about two minutes, maybe three, until the sauce starts to thicken. Then I'll spoon the sauce over the chicken or pour it in, and then we'll cover it with foil and we'll place it in the oven for about 20 minutes. 
Now I'm going to hold back just a little bit of sauce for topping off the chicken in case I need it. Like I said, this is going in the oven for 20 minutes at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. It must be time for chef joke number two. Why did the bee go to therapy? Because he had a lot of honey issues. <laughs> Here's our honey garlic chicken after 20 minutes. Now it's definitely not done yet, but we're gonna just take a look and I'm gonna turn it over, show it to you, and then I'm gonna add some more sauce, that little bit that I had left over, just to coat the underside here. You probably don't really need to turn it over, but I really like doing that. I just think it turned out better. Oh, look at that sauce. I'm telling you, it smells incredible in here. And this time when we put this back in, we're not going to cover it. Since I could see that some of the chicken looked like it was starting to get done, I'm only putting this in for another 15 minutes. Now, since I have basil growing in my house, I am going to use that to garnish with, but feel free to use parsley if you wish. It goes great with chicken. Here's our chicken right before I pulled it out of the oven. Here's our chicken, and now I'm going to add a little bit of basil to it to garnish it up, and then I'm going to take a bite. Now this would be great served up with some cauliflower rice or maybe just regular white rice if you want. Even mashed potatoes, right? It would be great. Let me know down in the comments if you're going to try this delicious, sweet, savory, and tangy chicken dish. Now for dessert, you might want to try my perfect mug cake recipe here. It's chocolatey, fudgy, and delicious. Click the link on the screen and it'll take you right to the recipe. And the best part is it's quick and easy. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and let me know if you have any recipe requests. You can do that down in the comments. All right, we'll see you back here next week for another delicious and healthy recipe.